let me take you on a little journey along the reason why this this one is a little bit more personal this is it out of anger this is just out of true experience you know about my my past experiences on occasions where I've been soft you know where I didn't realize there is a time and place for being soft so I'll take you back to my collegiate athletic experience days you see when I was in undergrad at, at the D1 level in fact throughout my whole athletic career you know I've, I've been this kid you know I've I grew up in Nigeria and I was raised in a culture where respect is key. Listen carefully, respect is key. And when disrespect comes into play, there's a severe consequences for disrespect. It could be at school, it could be at home, it could be in the community. There's a severe consequence for disrespect so I've always had these characteristics within me, you know, of how I was raised. To be kind, to be nice to people, to be respectful. But when I came to the United States of America, I realized That could only take me for so long. Don't don't waver. Just follow along with me. All right. That, that's that's there's a conclusion I'm trying to make out of this. You know, as an athlete, when I competed, being respectful and kind, I I didn't know when to differentiate between a killer instinct and, uh, and being hungry and not being punked not that I was punked in a competitive stage but I refuse to get on people's toes and, and do some trash talk and you know really let my opponent know who runs the show I was just this quiet dude who play really hard and does everything my coach required of me. Come to realize I was being taken advantage of. You know, now if, if this is a situation where my character was being rewarded or in a case where there's fair opportunity. I would have said otherwise, you know, like, okay, being respectful is good. But in, in most occasion, based on my experiences playing for multiple coaches, the most respectful players you know, they, they don't get treated well. Maybe that's not the best way to put it, but basically, you are not respected when you're just soft. You know, that's what they call it. You see, in my culture, we call it respect. How I was raised is respect and kind. But after many years in the United States, we don't. they don't call it respect. They call it soft. See, you got no dog in you. You know, I, and my American father, you know, my host dad I lived with, he used to tell me, I got to leave the gentle Nigerian off the court. And I think I developed the Copper Viper, which is my nickname, heading into, 
you know, sort of like my senior year of college. But let's be frank, this was kind of like a little bit too late because I've been in a situation where I've been taking advantage, my kindness was taken advantage, you know, my kindness was seen as weakness. My respect was taken advantage of. And I'm telling you this because I don't want you have you to go through the same situation as I did. You see, there's time and place for everything. There's time to be respectful. There's time to be kind. There's time to be loving. And there's time to be a dog. You just gotta let it out. And let anyone that's standing in your way realize, okay, this motherfucker is not going nowhere. See, I've played against multiple teammates. Literally, flat out disrespectful. Now, I'm not encouraging you here to be disrespectful. But the difference between Nigeria and the US is here, there is no consequences for being disrespectful. So I guess that's the norm. That's the only way to survive, to compete. Is you can't let somebody punk you. You got to stand your ground. And it doesn't matter where it is. It could be a coach. It could be a boss. It could be anyone. On, on a competitive playing field where it's Imano Imano, man against man or woman. It could be anybody. You have to stand your ground. Otherwise, you're gonna get punked. Now, these words may sound harsh, but I implore you to view them through a different lens. All right, I'm not here to condemn, condemn, or criticize. I am here to ignite the fire of resilience that lies dormant within you. It is time to redefine what it means to be soft and unleash the untapped power that resides within you. That's where I'm going with this. See, society th taught us that it's okay to be soft, kind. Yes, there's time and place. But when you're on a competitive field your kindness, your respect is seen as a weakness. It's seen as a lack of determination and an inability to withstand the trials of life. I challenge you to rethink this perception, all right? Not being soft does not mean denying your emotions or suppressing vulnerabilities or abandoning compassion. Instead, it means harnessing these qualities to fuel your drive, your perseverance, and your unwavering pursuit of greatness. See, to not be soft is to embrace the fire that burns within your soul, to tap into your inner warrior, and to rise above the limitations that have held you captive. It is the audacity, okay, to face adversity head on, to front your fears, and to stand tall in the midst of storm. Not being soft is about cultivating a spirit of resilience, determination, and unyielding courage. But let's, let's be clear now. This journey is not about becoming hardened or callous or, or treating people with disrespect or taking advantage of others. All right? It is about forging a strength that is rooted in authenticity. All right? 
compassion and unwavering self-belief. That's where I'm going with this. You got to have so much belief in yourself. You got to have that dog in you. You got to stand your ground and protect your territory and take what is yours. It is the willingness to take risk, to embrace discomfort and to dare greatly. To not allow anyone call you out and punk you. It is the audacity to dream big, to chase your passions and to create a life that reflects the true essence of who you are. I challenge you to share the shackles of softness and step into your power. Embrace the unknown for it is in the realm of uncertainty that greatness awaits. Embrace the struggles for they are stepping stones to your growth and evolution. Embrace the challenges for they are the catalysts that ignite the fire within you. You must know you're capable of extraordinary things, all right? Your capacity for resilience, determination, and unwavering courage, it knows no bounds. You are limitless, you're powerful beyond measure. The world needs your unique blend of strength and compassion. It needs your voice, your talents, your unwavering belief in your own capabilities. You see, when you're soft, you don't believe in yourself. You're not confident. You just let the next man punk you. You just let your opponent come to your territory and take what belongs to you and tell you you're not good to your face. So, guess what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna be soft. I was in the past and I'm redefining what it means not to be soft. I've embraced my vulnerabilities. I do not let my past kindness that was taken for weaknesses, I did not let them redefine me. So cultivate a spirit of resilience that radiates from every fiber of your being. Harness your inner strength. Let it propel you forward on your journey towards greatness. As you begin this new journey, remember that not being soft is not about denying your humanity. It is about embracing it fully. It is about finding the balance between vulnerability and strength. You must be able to distinguish when to be respectful and when to bring out the dog in you. When you're competing, you gotta know when to turn it on. And you gotta know when to be loving and kind to people. You gotta do the choose the right one at the right time pretty much otherwise people will walk all over you you gotta create a life that is authentic bold and unapologetically true to who you are so today I challenge you all right I challenge you not to be soft to unleash the warrior within you and to create a legacy that will leave an indelible mark on this world. You shared softness by believing in your power, by believing in your resilience, by believing in your unwavering spirits. By not allowing anyone to punk you and to tell you you're no good. Stand tall for yourself. Stand your ground. Don't back down to no man. Go forth. Show the word. Let them know who you are. Your best is yet to come. 
compete for what is yours. And remember, chance favors the aggressor. <laughs>